Stockton. Candles across in a small picture mark the spot where another person was gunned down. That's how it sounded like. <laughs> People living in and around Stockton say they are fed up with a wave of crime that has left five people dead in a week. The city is working to improve its image, and now these five murders have some people calling for an end to the violence. New tonight, KCRA3's Richard Sharp is live in Stockton tonight with why Stockton's mayor is painting a different picture. Stockton was once a thriving working-class city, but it was hit hard by the economic downturn of the 1970s. Americans watching right now, the state of our economy is a concern that rises above all others. If you haven't been personally affected by this recession, you probably know someone who has. A friend, a neighbor, a member of your family. Since President Obama gave this speech in February 2009, 33 municipalities across the country have filed for bankruptcy. My not since the Great Depression have so many cities been so broke. No other place in America has borne the brunt more than the Central Valley city of Stockton, California, the largest city in American history to file for bankruptcy. The Stockton Police Department is sweeping the streets of gangs and guns this month. That's all happening after the murder rate has skyrocketed there. KCRA 3's Rich Ibera explains how much gang violence has cost in both money and lives. All of these firearms were seized over the past six months. Stockton Police have seized more than 50 guns this year. Many of them gang related. And on this table are guns taken just from gang members. During a 15 day period this month, Stockton Police. ended with two people shot may also ignite a fresh debate over medical marijuana. The tenant in this Juanita home says an intruder with a shotgun woke him and his girlfriend at 3.30 this morning. 59-year-old Steve Sarich is an activist on behalf of medical marijuana. He shot the intruder, but not before the would-be robber shot him, leaving pellets embedded in his arm and on his face. dragged the city into debilitating debts. Stockton now ranks seventh in the country for unemployment. Crime has skyrocketed. Coming to work here in Stockton, I mean, I've seen uh, numerous homicides and um, other violent crimes. It has gotten worse in the past few years that I've been here. Stockton is the largest city in American history to file for bankruptcy. Since the housing crash, the city has struggled to pay its bills, seeking to protect what little they had for essential services like fire, police, and safety. They sought protection through the federal courts. The creditors immediately came after Stockton, demanding the city honor its debts. Don't take money from us and don't give us what we're entitled to. Think about what you stand up for. property was set on fire and when I came to the city council and I said well, what you gonna do about it they say well you can hire a private detective if you want to 